show this. Uh, two long blinks and two short blinks. So based on my research, problem with the uh, voltage. That's why it was also given a, giving a sign here, uh, low battery. So there might be a problem with the stator coil. Or, yeah, either stator coil or the rectifier or voltage regulator. So we'll be going to check if everything is working fine. And first, uh, before anything else, we are going to check first the fuse box. Just pull it out that way it would be much easier so the main fuse let's go check the main fuse okay you can see it there it's not cut so let's go put it back Still it's okay. And next would be the main relay contacts plus ECU. Alright, there you go. You can see it there, it's cut. So we need to replace the it with a spare fuse located here. These are the spare fuse 10, 15, 15 amperes. So we just have to pull that out and put it right here. And let's check. Let's go continue check the other fuse. This is okay. Graduator fan. So it's also cut. Keeps it there. So we need to replace it. That's the cut fuse, guys. Just have to put it right here. And we go get the new one, the spare fuse. By the way guys, the normal fuse is just like this, it's not cut. You can see it there, in the middle. So right there. Normal fuse is on the right. And the fuse, cut fuse is on the left side. Reach LCU, other loads. Dirty. with line clearly see here man right there so let's go put it back and try to switch on the bike again see if let's try to see if it would affect the check engine code There is really a problem with the stator coil and of course we go 
go hit it again. 